Hello and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I'm starting off today by prepping my skin with the pharmacy toner that I used in my previous video. Just taking that on a cotton pad and rubbing that all over my face. Getting under my eye to miss any, clean any dirt that I missed. Next I'm going to moisturize with the Target brand oil-free moisturizer with SPF 15. Take that all over my face and neck. Rubbing it in gently with just using my fingertips. Now moving on, I am lining and filling in my brows with my e.l.f. brow pencil. And going over that with the Tarte Busy Gal Brow. And I just take the spoolie on the end of that e.l.f. brush and brush out all the hairs to make sure they're going in the right direction as well as blending in both those products. Now just taking a dot of my e.l.f. concealer on each of my eyelids. A little bit goes a long way. And blending that out with a fluffy brush. So now going in with my flat bl blending brush, I'm using my Beauty Creations Esmeralda palette and I'm taking this orangey color. And I'm gonna pack that into my crease. Using that same palette, I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and taking that mustard yellow shade. Going on top of that orange and blending it out and up towards my brows. Then I decided that wasn't enough color payout, so I grabbed both that orange and that mustard color on my brush, just dipped them in both colors back and forth, and then I went around the edges and blended it out. Using that same strategy with the flat brush that I started with, I'm going to take that under my eyes. Now going in with a dirty brush to help blend, I'm taking a dark brown shade in there. And I'm going to use that on my outer corner and into my crease. Going about halfway on the eyelid. I am doing a cut crease today, so I didn't want to bring it in too much because I'm just going to cover it with concealer. Then I'm going to take this nice red maroon shade same brush and again just deep in that outer corner. So now going in with a small flat concealer brush, I have that same e.l.f. concealer I used earlier. I'm just going to start on the inner corner, just really get the base laid down and then I'm going to go on top a little more precise to get a defined cut crease and then I'll blend down from the line that I create. Once I am satisfied with how both sides look, I'm taking a small fluffy blending brush and taking the gold shade and I'm going to use that on my inner corner and just kind of pack it on top of the concealer. I'm just doing dabbing motions rather than sweeping because I really want the color to be opaque and bold. Now 
Using that same brush, I did not clean it off in between. It helps me blend. I'm using that orangey copper shade right in the middle of the palette. Pack that on there and I'm gonna blend that from the gold into the outer corner. I really enjoy doing cut creases with metallic shades. I think the color payoff is just so pretty. I really like the way they blend together. But I didn't mention this earlier. This is the uh, palette that I got from my BoxyCharm subscription. If you're thinking about maybe doing a beauty subscription, you've been on the fence, this is your sign to do it. I love subscription boxes and encourages me to try new things and I absolutely love this palette. Then again, using the same dirty brush, I am using the red metallic shade. And I'm gonna pack that into my outer corner, blending it all together. I wanted to go for kind of like a fiery sunset type fade look with golds and oranges. And then once I get all three of those colors laid down as a base, I'll just go into the palette and pick whatever I feel like needs a little more payoff in blending. I'll just go back and forth on each eye until I get the blend that I'm happy with. So then using my glittery gold eyeliner, I got this in a set from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description. I am going on top of the cut crease to really define it and going along the gold. I'm making sure I get a really thick glittery line on the inner corner and then just kind of dragging the brush out with less glitter on it to make it look like it fades into the look. For some reason, when I do these liners on my cut creases, I do them with my eyes open and looking down. I think it's mostly because since I wear contacts, my vision gets really blurry if I close my eyes for too long. So I've learned to work with my both of my eyes open. And I'm just gonna take that same glitter and bring it down into the inner corner, give it a little shimmer. Now I'm taking a maroon eyeliner and I'm just gonna do this along the lash line. The eyeshadow look itself is pretty bold. Um, so this is mainly so that my false eyelashes blend in a little better. But I'm just doing a really thin line. I'm not really making a wing or anything like that today. Now using a coat of the Tarte Maneater Mascara on my eyelashes, I'm doing the tops and bottom. If you haven't watched my videos before, my pro tip for mascara is to apply to both the top and the bottom of your eyelashes. I also blink and move my eyelashes instead of moving the wand and it gets a more even and dramatic applying effect. So now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution foundation. I just put like half a pump on my hand. A little bit goes a long way during COVID. And I'm just applying that to my T-zone and under my eyes. As well as down my nose. And blending that out with my Sonia face brush. I love this brush so much. It makes my foundation look really even. 
and well blended and it's very soft. And for my under eyes, I'm using my e.l.f. beauty sponge just so that I can get a little closer into the crease. Brightening up my under eyes with just a dot of that concealer. And then I'm blending it out with that same brush from earlier. And perfecting it with my beauty sponge. So now I'm just applying a little bit of my blush using a big fluffy blush brush. Blending it all the way up to my cheeks. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I do this because it looks more of a like a natural blush rather than just the apples of your cheeks. Taking a little bit of bronzer in my contour areas. And using some gold highlight from my Tarte highlighter palette. Fresh and frosted. Then I'm using a big fluffy face brush with the absolute smallest amount of powder. I'm just going on top of everything I just did to blend it all in together. Applying some tinted chapstick from Burt's Bees. don't like wearing lipstick for the same reason I don't like wearing foundation on the bottom half of my face. It feels like a waste when I wear my face mask. Now I'm applying my Ardell Faux Mink Lashes using my black lash glue. Waited about 30 seconds for it to become tacky. And a tip I recently learned is as soon as you paint the lash on to stamp it on your lash line where it will go and it works kind of like a Velcro where like two things are sticking together. I don't know how else to explain it. Just plopping that bad boy on there. And plop that other one right on there. And finishing off with my Pacifica Set and Protect Spray with SPF. A few sprays of that all over my face. And that is it. That completes the look today. I love the way the metallic shades blended together. Once again, I highly recommend a subscription box to try new things. I like how this turned out and I hope you guys liked it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.